So we're here at Bridge Cable today. Today we just got our new fluke tester in the mail. And here it is, the Verse of Two. So what we're gonna do is just go over it real quick, show you the basic operation of it. So here it is, you got your smart end, your dummy end, and uh, we're gonna turn them on. They're gonna power up, and whammo, they're powered up. Okay, as you can see, you got your analyzer over here. You got your project. Right now it's just listed at default. By pressing the home screen buttons, you can change the operator's name, whoever it is. There's all your results that you'll be doing as you're testing. Test setup. If you press the test setup, you can see how it has different categories for all your stuff, cable type. Any kind of cable type you want to test from Cat 5E up to Cat 8. We will be doing a quick 5E test on a patch core just to show you the basics as we're going. So we are going to select Cat 5E. Test limits. What you're basically testing is uh, but usually a link test is from patch panel to the work area outlet so we're going to be doing the permanent link and the outlet configuration we're doing the 568b so we're good there you'll see that you can have a shield test on here also you can turn it on and off we're going to go with the off because there's no shield in our cable over here and the outlet configuration you can use t568a or b most of the time, 95% of the time, you're gonna be using B. So you're just gonna select that. Once you're done, you selected, and you're back to that screen. You can save your uh, setup, and then you can get out of here. When you first pull this out, you'll have to do a reference. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the heads, they squeeze from the sides, you're going to squeeze the size and you're just going to put it onto the unit and you'll hear a little beep. That's when you know you're connected. This is going to be your certification cable. It comes with the tester. It all comes in the package. So the same thing. You're going to hook up this end to the unit, press the sides, and you'll hear the beep once you stick it in. It's ready to go. After that, you we'll take the cable, plug it into your other unit. And we got noise, so we have a connection. So you're gonna hit the tools button here. When you hit the tools button, you'll have your testing tools. Set reference. You're gonna set the reference. You'll see it'll tell you to connect it, which we did. And then you're just gonna simply hit the test. Set reference is complete. Done, hit that. You have now just set the reference on your tester. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these links off, squeeze the sides, pull them off, take that out. Now you're gonna be ready to do the testing on your permanent link. So we got our 5E permanent link cable here, which is just a jump cable for these purposes. Put your correct adapters on, and you're gonna plug in your link. Now you can hit test from either side of where you're testing. You can hit the test button on the not so smart end, you can hit the test button on the smart end, or you can hit the home screen test. Even that, they're all the same. Now since we're using a 5E link, and we have CAT 6A channel adapters. That's why we're getting the warning there. Again, this is just a test purpose, so we're just using the 5E just to show you how to do it. So would we like to continue? Yes. Normally you wouldn't though. You would set your parameters correctly, then go. So we're just gonna hit yes, testing in progress. And you'll see that we are passed. You have your wire map, wire map's going straight through. You can hit the performance and you can check all these different parameters. 
is once you're happy, you're ready to save your test result. Again, just hit the save button and your test can save. Now you can put auto save on, so you can type in your first number, 001, test all the way up to how many you ever have. This way you don't have to constantly change the number. So what we're gonna do is just save this as cable ID, we'll change it. We'll make that 001, then we are done. And then we can hit the save button. And we are saved. You hit the home button, you can see that your project that you're currently working on has one save test. And that's it for testing. And then you would just continue to move on, move on, move on. We'll test again just to show you as we were doing another link. And you would just do the same thing. You can check your results if you want. If you're happy with the pass, you can hit your save button. You'll see that the cable ID automatically went up to number two. So it counts up for you. You may have to change for whatever your label configuration is. Hit save and you're good. If you go back to the home, you see we have two save tests now. And that is the basic testing for the Fluke Versa 2.